Nancy and I'm a science teacher and I'm doing Apologia Biology Experiment 2-1 uh, where it's, we have the uh, Palm Life Collection uh, Part A. So what they ask you to bring is they have you, and I have this in the bucket, I have four mason jars with, with rings on it for later. Uh, I've got an egg so I can get some boiled egg yolk. I have some rice. And since I'm on a lovely farm, I've got access to hay and to dirt. So we have everything we need. Plus, I have one more thing. I have the long stick. And instead of putting a ladle on it, because putting a ladle would leave you at an odd angle. Uh, especially if you're this close to a pond that's rather deep, you don't want to take a tumble. Um, my husband designed this, bless his heart. And it's just a plastic cup. And it has actually a little strainer on the end to keep out any large leaves or debris that we don't want. And yeah, you want as long a handle as you can manage. And so it doesn't say in the lab how much to put in. It's, well, it actually says half full. Okay, so yes. Um, we're going to leave it in the bucket and put it somewhere solid to where I'm pouring things in that I can control my mess and put my egg and my rice over there. Okay, now, first they tell us to take information about the pond. This is a fairly small pond. Um, the temperature is about 72 degrees today. Uh, it's cloudy, but it's not supposed to rain. The high is supposed to get 79. Now, protists and other microorganisms tend to live down towards the bottom. It's cooler, but it should never get below 60, uh, according to your lab. So it should be all right. Uh, they don't like sunlight. So later I'm going to show you you can put a cover over the mason jars that will shield the pond water from sunlight. So I'm going to get down here, and there are some nettles. So let's get down here. I'm going to put my bucket in a safe place. My assistant Sarah can make sure that I don't fall in, right? All right. So here's what I do, and you want to get down to the bottom as much as possible. So where I'm standing, I can get down, and I can see the bottom. Okay, so you want to go down like this. Alright, down close to the bottom because that's where the microorganisms are living. Okay, you can scrape a little bit, bring it up. There we go. Now, wait, there's a hole there. Now, I can tell I didn't get a whole lot of dirt, which is great. Okay, now come around and I'm going to fill as many of these as I can half full and I can always dump again what I thought I got about more like two thirds I'm going to pour some in that there we go and this will take two or three dips but I, we should be able to get a really good thank you very much <laughs> a really good set of samples of pond water I'm resting right on the bottom of the pond this time I'm going to kind of drag it to me so I can collect a little bit more water. Oops, sorry. All right. Okay. Actually, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, it's actually got a little bit of color to it. So we just add a little bit to that. Okay, don't worry. We're going to do this two or three times until we get a half jar of water. And I see little fish in here. So that's another thing you can write in your journal, uh, information about this particular pond. It looks like it has some good life in it. It's got some small fish. Uh, I can see, I can see little water striders further out on the pond. So you can see some insect life. You can see some fish. All right. And that is a sign that the pond is in relatively good health. All right. I think we may have enough water. What do you think, Sarah? I think so, yeah. All right. So, other things about the pond that I see, all right? Uh, I see some uh, plants that belong by a pond. These are cattails, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And, of course, they haven't developed their heads yet. They won't for a while. Um, there are lots of grasses, lots of grasses overgrowing the pond. Uh, you have six other things sitting in there. You would say the deepest part of this pond is what, about 20 feet? 20 feet. That's an feet. entire tree out there in the middle. Oh, it's an entire tree. 
Okay, so that pond is deep out there. We really didn't need to go swimming. All we needed to do was get some pond water down near where the base of it was without getting a whole bunch of silt. Uh, getting a whole lot of silt or dirt in your jars will make it hard for you to actually find the produce when you're getting drops and putting them on your slides. Uh, anything about this? We have uh, a runoff pipe over there. From what they tell me, water, when it rains, runs down the hill and fills this pond. So it's basically a runoff pond that, have you guys felt this with fish or? At, uh, years ago, there haven't right. been any, just a bunch of bluegill probably right now. Right. So you've got fish, and I can see there's small minnows. Mm -hmm. There's a lot mm -hmm. of very small, see them? Yeah, they're cute. Yeah, they are <laughs> cute. All right, and you've got, as far as the dirt, you've got some rocks, you've got some good soil, okay? And it looks like there's good drainage because when the pond gets too high, it drains off that way. Correct. Um, so basically, all in all, uh, and some flowers and things, it's a very good, healthy pond. They say there are farms up over the hill, but the runoff would go the other way. So I don't think we have any problems with uh, insecticides or pesticides uh, contaminants in the water. So let's go inside and finish this up.